Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get started with Lua. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and download that. Uh, that will download Lua to your system. Here I'm in my downloads folder. Um, it's by default in a zip file, so we're going to need to extract it. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to use a program called 7-Zip and extract it. Then once it's extracted, I'm going to go inside that folder and I'm going to copy all the files inside of it. Next, I'm going to go to my C drive and I'm going to go into program files. Here, I'm going to hit new and create a new folder called Lua. Next, I'm going to go into the Lua folder and I'm going to paste all the files that I just copied here. It's going to ask me for administrative permissions since this is the program files folder. I'm going to give it permission and hit continue. Great. Now I'm going to rename this from Lua 53 um, since that will be helpful later. So I suggest you do the same. You can right click and hit rename on the top file there. And I'm going to rename it from lua.lua53.exe to just lua.exe. All right, great. Now that we've done that, we're going to go up to the top here and we're going to left click and copy this file path. We're going to copy C program files slash lua. All right, the next thing we're going to want to do is go to our start menu and type E. N V and then we're going to click edit the system environment variables which pops up here. We're going to go to the lower right hand corner where it says environment variables and then we'll see two sections here. We'll see user variables for syndrome and we'll see system variables. I'm going to go to the system variables list and I'm going to left click a variable called path. Once you have that selected, click edit in the lower right hand corner. And once here, we will see a list of environment variables. We're going to create a new one. So we're going to hit new in the upper right hand corner and we're going to paste in the folder path that we copied. Then we're going to hit enter and then hit okay. This next part's very important. You need to make sure that you also hit okay on this dialog box. So I'm going to hit OK here as well, otherwise it won't save. And then finally, I'm going to hit OK on the final system properties box here. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do is create a Lua programs folder somewhere. I just put mine in my documents. Uh, then go ahead and navigate to that folder. And once you're in there, I'm going to hit new right click new and then go to text document. I'm going to call this hello world dot txt, but I'm going to change the txt to be dot Lua, L-U-A. It's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to change it. I'm going to say yes. If you don't see an option, if you don't see the dot txt or you don't see that option, go up to the top of your screen to view and then make sure that you have the file name extensions checkbox checked. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this with Notepad. All right. Let's see here, Notepad. Uh, you may want to use something a little more robust like Visual Studio Code or Notepad++. Uh, it's up to you. For the sake of this tutorial, I don't want you to have to download anything extra, so I'm just going to use Notepad. Once I'm in here, I'm going to write a Lua program. This is going to be my Hello World program. I'm going to say print Hello World, and then I'm going to save that. All right, great. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the top where the file path is, I'm going to delete the file path and I'm going to type CMD. That will open a command prompt that is within this folder already. Next, I'm going to check that the Lua installation worked. So I'm going to type LUA and hit enter. If you did not rename that file in the beginning from Lua 
lua53.exe, then you're going to want to type in lua53 here. In this case, it says what version of Lua I have installed, 5.3.6, and that's great because that means that everything is working as expected. Uh, after I've done that, I'm going to hit Control C, and then I'm going to type Lua space hello world dot Lua, the name of the file I want to execute. This will execute my Lua program and will print the results to the command prompt. So if I hit enter, it will print hello world. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully this is helpful to you. If you ran into any problems, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can help answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching.